We're going to go over thoracic outlet syndrome. So thoracic outlet syndrome, we've seen a lot of since people have been working at home with COVID. It's basically a couple nerves get crushed in your arm up in here and travel down the, uh, or sorry, a couple nerves get crushed in your neck and travel down your arm. So first and foremost, it's an area around your collarbone where the nerves are compressed. So your collarbone's here and then right behind your collarbone or under it, if you will, is your first rib. So the first rib's a little different than every other rib in your body. So the first rib is here. What happens to that, there's a muscle under it called your subclavius that attaches here, above your collarbone, under the first rib, and then some muscles that come down your neck here in our patient called your scalenes. So your anterior scalenes come down, they pull on your collarbone, this subclavius muscle here, everything gets tight, and what happens is the nerve bundle that's in here gets all compressed. So it can cause pain shooting down the arm, it can go into the hand, it can just be a whole bunch of pain in there. In severe cases, you will get actually uh, cold hands, swelling in the hands, white hands, something like that, uh, a discoloration because it's actually compressing a vascular bundle in there. But overall, the nerve is compressed around the first rib and then through the collarbone with the muscles. So treatment for this can be relatively painful, but a lot of times it's misdiagnosed as something coming from the neck. So thoracic outlet syndrome is when the nerve is compressed on top of the first rib with the area around the collarbone from the scalenes and the subclavius muscle. Pain is either in the neck, shooting down the arm, it could come into the pec. Okay, so let's recap. The thoracic outlet is the area between the collarbone, first rib, sternum, and shoulder. The important part about this outlet is that the nerves, arteries, and veins that innervate the arm run through this space after they leave the neck. Thoracic outlet syndrome is the compression of these nerves, arteries, or veins in this outlet. By far the most common type involves the compression of the nerve, and that's what we treat at the clinic. The compression can be caused by one of three structures, the first rib, the scaling muscles, or the pec minor muscle. Our chiropractors will do different tests to figure out which of these three structures is squeezing the nerve. Symptoms of thoracic outlet syndrome include pain in the neck that can radiate down the arm as far as the hand and into the fingers. The arm may tire easily and have a feeling of pins and needles or numbness. In more severe cases, the arm may feel cold or weak and the muscles may noticeably shrink if the condition persists for long enough. Thoracic outlet syndrome can be caused by poor posture or increased stress levels. It can be brought on by a trauma such as a whiplash injury from a car accident. Thoracic outlet syndrome can also be the result of repetitive overhead work as required by certain jobs or certain sports. There are also some anatomical anomalies like having an extra rib that can also cause this condition.